Oh! What's up guys, it's Eric. I know it's been a while since I've been out again, but I'm really urging to uh, rip something around. So this is my Italian EXB. It's been a while since I've had this baby out for sure. The Italian is still my favorite uh, platform. Of course, I've got the original V3, the Italian XL, and then the Italian EXB right here. You might notice I do have these Team Corellia Suga wheels on here and tires. These things work really nice. Uh, they hold up really good. They're not belted, but they don't balloon that much and they hold up to power pretty good. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to try it on the Italian here. I've been wanting to do that for a while. If you saw my last video, I used them on the um, a TLR Tune Typhon, Trugified Typhon, and it worked out perfect. As far as the upgrades, it does have a mixture of Basher Queen and M2C Racing, uh, M2C chassis, of course. Uh, the Basher Queen towers on here, lighten it up a little bit. The, M the Basher Queen top plate and servo mount right there. It also has the RPM rear arms on it right here, the new ones that'll fit the EXBs and the V5s. It's got the M2C Racing back suspension blocks back there. Man, they're, they are scarred and beat up. You can tell they've been through it, but still holding still holding together. As far as the electronics, it's got the uh, Spectrum system in it. This is actually the system out of my Big Rock uh, 6S that I put the big hobby wing system in it. Decided to just take that system and put it in here. It's the 2050 Spectrum with the uh, Firma 150 amp ESC. Still got the fans and everything on there. So let's just see how it does. I got a 20 tooth pinion, I believe. And of course, the my go-to Basher servo for years now, the Power HD 23 kilogram waterproof servo. So I'm gonna give it a quick little rip at this construction site that I found. Just do some freestyle uh, drifting and stuff and, and hauling butt and see what's up. Oh yeah. Seem to hook up pretty good out here in this uh, hard packed dirt. Still lets the power slide, but has lots of traction. Tasmanian devil. Where's it at? Oh! All right, guys, I'm gonna try something crazy. This big trench right here, it's pretty deep. It's hard to tell in the GoPro, but I'm gonna try to get some speed up and jump this side right here. It sits up just a little bit higher than this side. See if I can clear it. That'll be some sketchy fun. All right, here we go. Oh, just, oh, just made it. And about hit that rebarb. <laughs> so much fun, I wanna try it again. Oh! <laughs> that was not graceful. Looks like it ripped my wing off. Oh yeah, hey, no biggie. Much less drag. Third try. Ah, oh, I made it. I just so happened to notice something. This part of a wheel foam right here. I was like, surely that's not an ancient RC artifact. I've never been out here before, unless somebody else has. But this uh, Bakasuga tire lost its glue bead 
and blew the foam out. So the tire didn't blow, which is good. These are really good tires. Uh, just I lost the glue bead, didn't realize it. But anyway, it's a nice test on these tires, though. They do work really nice. I just, you just have to keep an eye on your glue beads. Uh, check this out. Sometimes you got to get crafty and build a ramp with construction materials. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That added to the fun factor. I'm still driving on that tire with no foam and it's still holding up. Not the best handling, but. Whoop. Oh. big pile of rocks <laughs> god I can't see anything for the dust cloud Wipe out. All right, guys, round two came out to my jump spot for some high speed uh, rips and launches. I did put on the Belta guitars. The Team Corelli Asuga tires are a little bit smaller in diameter than these, not, not much. Uh, but these uh, but these belted tires will definitely suit better for the for the high speed street rips, and uh, and launching. So let's let's give her a go. slap All right, guys, this is going to be a sketchy jump. I'm going to jump from down the hill there. I got to clear this transfer, this uh, asphalt parking lot, and hopefully land in this grass. Worst case scenario, I'll land in the asphalt right there. But it's got an M2C chassis, so no fear. Let's see what she'll do. Man, yeah, that was a little bit rough. <sighs> Looks like it flexed the chassis. Oh, I lost my screws on my diff case back here. This does still have a plastic diff case. So it looks like those screws have uh, fallen out, flexed the diff case up and popped out the drive shaft. Man, that was a brutal smack right on the asphalt. <laughs> hey, it looks like the chassis took it though. It's still in one piece and still straight. M2C tough. Uh, land in the grass. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, I absolutely love Italian. By far my favorite RC. It's so cool to have a uh, three in the arsenal. It's just the ultimate speed basher. <laughs> 